And this is where I think a lot of Christians have problems, <clears throat> is that we attempt to lower ourselves so much with a false sense of humility because we have just this really big irrational sense of pride. And we have this really big fear of pride. And uh, our humility ends up not really humility, it's just hatred. And we don't humble ourselves, we just start hating ourselves. And we downplay everything that we do, all of the accomplishments that God makes through us, and we denounce ourselves straight into a depression and have no confidence at all. He puts himself low enough. And see, the, the problem is, church, we accept Jesus, but we don't accept ourselves. Because all we do is compare ourselves to everyone else until we think that we will never be enough. We accept Jesus, but we don't accept ourselves. And I want to ask you, why, why do we doubt when God doesn't? God chooses us, but we're like, no, you've got the wrong one. You, you found the wrong Jared when you looked through the phone book in heaven. But why do we doubt what God defines? God called him a mighty warrior, and here he is saying he's the weakest. Of the weakest, of the weakest. But God said, you're a mighty warrior. See, the thing is, God accepts us. He numbers the hairs on your head. He orders your steps and he values you. He considers you precious in his sight. You are a treasure. And we, deter, we return the favor by diminishing what he designed. And I know a lot of you immediately when I started talking about pride, you were thinking John 3.30 with, oh, he must become greater and I must become less. But let me tell you, this does not mean that you beat yourself into an oblivion. This doesn't mean that you think so little of yourself that you have absolutely zero self-worth and any confidence. This is being caged by your thoughts like Gideon. This is being a wimp in the wine press. This is being weak, weak in the wine press. This is giving in to fear. And our mind becomes manic and our thoughts are so destructive that they torment us. We become prisoners to our own perceptions of ourselves. And maybe you're accepting the labels of what others are putting on you.